resulted in the death of Mozambican taxi driver Mido Masia, say it was an accident. They claim they were not aware that the handcuffed man was being dragged behind their vehicle. Graphic details of events leading to Masia's death in 2013 emerged in court today and in an exclusive interview with the SABC in Mozambique, Masia's mother spoke frankly about life without the family's breadwinner. Can we proceed? Day one of the long-awaited trial, nine Daviton police officers in the dock. Masia's relative, Lindy Wenguenya, says she was in his taxi when police approached him, accusing him of obstructing traffic. She says after Masia quizzed police about why he was the only taxi driver being pulled over, the agitated officers wanted to arrest him. Holding back tears, Nguenya testified that Marcia resisted arrest and that when more police officers came to the scene, they handcuffed him to the back of the police van and sped off, dragging him for 30 to 40 meters. A second witness, street vendor Mashatsi Sikwati, described a scuffle between Masia and police over the returning of his driver's license. Sikwati took cell phone footage of the incident, which was shown in court. And during cross-examination, the defense portrayed Marcia as an aggressive lawbreaker who assaulted one of the police officers, took his firearm and pointed it in his direction. The officers claim they didn't realize the taxi driver was hanging out of the vehicle when they drove off. As events leading to Mido Marcia's death are laid bare in the North Gauteng High Court, hundreds of kilometers away in Mozambique, his mother says they've been struggling since his death. Two years on, the pain has not diminished. Months of hardship and waiting for justice. I still weep for my child. I wish this whole case can be over so I can find inner peace. A mother's agony bound to continue for several more months. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News at the North Gauteng High Court.